In this video, I'm going to show you guys the secrets of making DIY fish traps and how to catch more fish. If you want to catch more fish generally, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I can show you how. First, this is what we got to do. This is a water bottle. This is a water bottle. This is a water bottle. These are all water bottles. This is what we're going to need. Three water bottles, a big jug, two small ones, some fishing line. could be any pound. This is green monofilament. This is a little bit of string. And the most important thing is the binding agent, which you have this right here, duct tape, scotch tape, hot glue, if you, need, if you have some readily available to you, and scissors. Very important. So the first thing we're going to do, just because I have a lot of comments on my video saying, Dude, you really need to show us your DIY fish traps and how to use them, so this is why we're doing this. And I am going to peel the label off this, and so the first thing you want to do is make an incision right here with your scissors. And I am just going to put it right here. Boom. You guys can see that. We're going to poke it right here. And... Ah, boom. Done. Spot right here. This is where we're going to make the incision to put this water bottle. And we're going to make it right here. I'm going to just touch it, or put a little bit of dry hot glue on there. Just so you guys have a general idea. You guys can see that is where you want it, where that little thing is. And we're going to get a little bobby pin or something just so I can mark it for later. And... Boom. It is now marked, and you're going to make it a little bit bigger, just so you can, like, get your scissor in there, and boom. We're going to use this poke in there. Like I said, the bobby pin or clothes pin or whatever you like to call it already did a lot of work for us. So you just want to make sure that you make this hole the same exact size or close to this right here because this is what's going to be going in there and I go smaller first and foremost then I, if I want to work it out I just go like this so you cut it and cut it and cut it and I'll get you guys back when I have it so this is exactly what you want see how it's perfectly in there I don't really need tape or anything in there for it to stay and it's just good like that you can see the hole in there is just a little bit bigger than the actual size and that is perfect we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so as you can see this right here there's a hole on this side and there's a hole on this side and I am going to make a part two later this is the building part so this right here we're gonna put perfectly into this right here Push it down, push it down, and boom. Probably wondering, how was the fish going to get in the trap? So this is where this part comes in. You got to cut the water bottles right where the crease, like right before the crease. So this water bottle like this. You stick that in there, and then boom. You're good. So you stick it right there. So... The thing barely peeks through it, because if it's just barely on the edge, then the fish can get out. And you may have to get rid of this, like, thing right here, this little plastic piece that's on the top of the water bottles. You may have to get rid of that if your hole isn't big enough, or you just don't want it there generally, then you can. So, um, I just took mine off, and we're going to put that in there. I'll time lapse me doing the rest. <laughs> So there are two more options now. So we can either continuously do this across the side, make an incision here, make an incision here, do the same thing as the water bottles. Like I said, there's no adhesive on there. You just make a hole and you stick the water bottle cap through it and it's perfect. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn this inside out and that is going to make a huge opening for bigger fish to come in. Because this is a crawfish trap that I use and a fish trap for most people. And if you guys don't know my mission for fishing, basically, is I have a rare medical condition called CIDP. You can look on riverrats.com for more information. And 
I just really like fishing, and I want to make sure fishing is for everybody. And it's really cool, my mission, and I hope you guys enjoy that. And we're going to cut the incision, and I'll see. So as you can see, you have the incision is right before the dome part of the trap opens. And you can see that it is a little bit on the crowded side in there because of it. And the fish cannot get out whatsoever of this trap. So I'm going to take this off the cap and cut right here. And like I said, the adhesive, you don't have to do it. Any adhesive, if this is hot glue, super glue, tape, you don't have to, but it is just a safety measure. That's what I do it for, safety of your trap not like breaking in the middle of the water column. So you want to make sure it's nice and snug. You can see that is just like that. We're going to pull it back a little bit. And this is what the trap should look like at the end. And there's one final part at the very end. This is the key part. It's, this is going to make your trap successful. Not successful. This is going to make sure you don't break your trap. It's, just, it's super important. So stick around for that. What we are going to do now is we're going to make a little hole for when we catch fish in it. So we can just get the fish out as safely as possible. We don't want to hurt the fish. These fish that, if you guys know my channel, you guys know that all the fish that I catch in traps that are legal to keep in fresh water, I put in my tanks. And we're going to cut this right here. Got in there. And time. And this flap is this for putting bait in or whatever. And now, this is the part that is do or die with these things. So, you see how it's super, like, tight? There's not barely any holes in it. This is a bad problem for putting it in the water. So, you have to put rocks in it to let it sink, of course. But a lot of people don't put holes in them, and they just stay in the water. They break off, and you don't catch them. That's also why people don't have space between their traps. They'll have all of their holes stacked up next to each other instead of spaced out a little bit. These are, like, four inches spaced out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this like bobby pin or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to make little incisions all over the bottle. Just do about a hundred of them. And that's perfect for the water. And, you know, this is good generally. And I'll show you it works because I'll put it in my pond on the next Tank Thursday. But we'll also go out and use it at Fay Lake my local lake and this is what it looks like at the very end you can that's why the string is here and the tape is there you can add it around if you want just you know do it like that and you'll be good to go with this right here and i hope you guys enjoyed this video it took a lot of time and effort to do this this took an hour because i did at least four takes of messing up these water bottles but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please hit the like and subscribe buttons i'm trying to hit a thousand by the end of the year or not end of the year by the end of the month see you guys next episode of river Alley.